Calcaneal Gate by Megan Leistinger and Christina Molesky. Calcaneal gait is defined as a gait disturbance characterized by walking on the heel. This gait pattern is caused by damaged or injured plantar flexors that inhibits the foot from being able to push off the ground in a normal stride. The three muscles involved in this are the gastrocnemius, the soleus, and the plantaris, which make up the tricep surae. All three connect distally to the calcaneal tendon. Calcaneal gait can be caused by tibial nerve impingement or damage, muscle tear or injury to the plantar flexors, S1 nerve level injury, Achilles tear, Achilles repair surgery complications, dorsiflexion contractures, or spasticity in dorsiflexion from cerebral palsy. Within the phases of the gait cycle, calcaneal gait pattern affects terminal stance and pre-swing the most, since these two phases require plantar flexion to push off the ground. In terminal stance and pre-swing, Mrs. Jones has adequate plantar flexion, at least 20 degrees, for a normal gait pattern. In calcaneal gait, Mrs. Jones is lacking plantar flexion in terminal stance and pre-swing, and thus does not get adequate push-off to start the swing phase. In this clip, you can see Mrs. Jones exhibiting a calcaneal gait on her left leg. The treatment for calcaneal gait includes strengthening plantar flexors and stretching dorsiflexors. To strengthen the plantar flexors, you can use exercises such as heel raises, BAPS board exercises, and resistive band plantar flexion as shown in this picture. To stretch the dorsiflexors, you can use exercises such as this one. Cat caneal gait. Why did the chicken cross the road? To gate to the other side. Cal caneal goat. Hold your horses, it's the end.